What's up guys? Welcome to my Rise of the Six video. So before we get into things, I just want to let you know that I am sick, so I apologize if my voice sounds off or if you have trouble hearing me. Hopefully we can get through it together. Uh, so let's just let's just jump right into it. So the good thing about the Rise of the Six minigame is that it's pretty easy to do. You you can use multiple different sets of gear, but I recommend using Blood Barrage. So you're gonna need 92 magic. And the good thing is you can pretty much just make a brand new account get to 92 magic with all of the gear and, and here and whatnot and and be ready to go You're, you are going to want at least 43 prayers so you can protect from you know melee they your prayer does drain and they do hit through it which is why the blood barrage is helpful so um, i would recommend using your best mage gear if you don't want a mage you just absolutely hate mage you can easily do this mini game with any other style um, i would recommend just bringing your best tanky gear whether it's melee or range and the order in which you kill them is roughly the same, so just uh, adjust your gear accordingly. This is the best gear I have. Obviously, this is not elite gear. I would say this is definitely middle tier gear, so uh, well, this should do just fine. And again, you can use everything that is available in here. You can use uh, Mystic and whatnot and Ancient Staff. That'll, that'll do just fine. So I'm just going to keep my inventory pretty simple for this. I like to bring one prayer pot just in case. If you're 99 prayer, you probably won't need it. Um, and since you're using Blood Barrage anyways, it's, it's possible it's not necessary. I like to bring one just in case, because DH can hit pretty high through prayer, so you want to be. I also um, am bringing a Super Magic Potion. If you don't have Super Magic Potions, you can actually purchase uh, normal Magic Potions from the food store, so that'll, that'll do just the same. It really doesn't matter. Um, just the small boosts will help. So what you want to do is go to Minigame Teleport and go to Rise of the Six. Now, you do want to have inventory space. Don't have as many as... as as many strikes as I had. So it speaks with the wise old man and then select the first opportunity. But before we do that, make sure you are on your blood barrage and then um, just set up your prayers. If you don't have augury, you can use, uh, I think it's called Mystic, Mystic Will. Yeah, Mystic Will. It doesn't really matter. Just use whatever your best prayers are. And, and if, you don't, if, you, if you have a really low prayer level, it might not even be worth it to do it. Um, so pot up, just be ready. And then teleport in. So he's actually working towards this himself. He's at A4 Mage. And what you want to do is you want to go right next to Aram. You saw that one step? Because what this does is it puts them all like this and you can attack all of them at the same time. So attack DH and you are attacking all of them at the same time. Um, they can hit pretty high and they can combo you out. So just make sure you're paying attention. It's a really easy mini game. It's only going to take a couple seconds to finish. Um, and you can get some really good rewards. So I've had a couple people suggest maybe making improvements to this minigame, but I think that people just don't understand what exactly we were going for. This is... Oh, okay. <laughs> so then we just have one left. Pretty simple, just finishing and kill him. So you need three inventory spaces to loot food. Uh, most of the time you'll just eat sharks anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And again, if you really wanted to, you could pray right here, but it's going to hit you no matter what, so you might as well. Um, if you have a rapier or or a crystal halberd or, or dragon dagger, just something a good spec weapon, you can bring it if you want. The only reason I don't is because then you have to re-equip your uh, you have to redo your spell book, and after a while it just uh, doesn't seem worth it. But uh, here we go, first loot. It was that simple. Boom. So we just got ourselves got the chains here. I actually only need the spear, so that's unfortunate. Um, so the rewards you can get from this are they vary a lot. Let me let me open up the file. So uh, when you get a loot, it roll. You, you're gu always guaranteed to get Baros teleports, which uh, they disassemble corrupt components if that's something you want. Um, and then you roll uh, once on this table, which is a secret table, uh, where you have items like you can get the crystal halberd I just mentioned. From here, you can master clues, crystal keys, bookcases, corrupt components, a couple dragon items. Um, you can get full barrel sets. You can even get some really good items, such as Eternal Crystal, Pagation, or Primordial. Um, the main unique item you're going for is called the Amulet of the Damned. And what the Amulet of the Damned does is provides boosts to all of the barrel sets. And some people are actually uh, confused as to what all of that is. So I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you now. I'm gonna give you all the information. All right, again, apologies for my uh, my voice. I am sick right now. I just had to pause to cl clear everything. Uh, so, the effect for Arams, if you have the full Aram set with the Staff and the Amulet of the Damned, it provides, uh, I think you, you lower your opponent's attack levels. Um, and before it was negative 5, now it's negative 10 if you have the Amulet on. And I believe the chance of that is your damage divided by a random number rater. It's, it's, a, it's a small math equation, but um, it's not going to happen every single kill. 
I, I suppose I could show you that, but I have to find that. Yeah, I'm not going to show you that. Just, just believe me. Trust me. <laughs> so then with Guthans, it just increases the chance at which your uh, health restores by, um, I believe, double. I believe it, it should heal you double. Um, and the chance of that happening is... Can I figure out the chance of that? Oh, no, it's plus five. So you heal plus five more. Okay. So if you were to heal, like let's say you do damage and then heal a three, you would heal an eight instead. For the Terrell special attack, it lowers your, it, it drains your your opponent's magic level by five. Um, so normal normal full Carols would drain it by five, and then with the end of the dam, it would bring it to negative ten. So again, not crazy useful effects, but they've they've never been useful in the entire history of old school, to be honest. The Torag's effect is quite possibly the worst one. It deducts 20% uh, of your opponent's energy. Uh, so if you have full Torag set, you'll drain 20% of energy. And uh, with the Amulet of the Dam, you'll drain 40%. So, ooh. <laughs> so Varax and Darax are actually the exact same. It's just a damage boost. A plus 20% damage boost. I don't believe the effect has to trigger. I think it just always applies. Uh, so, if you were wondering what those do, they just strip your damage. So, I will do a couple more runs and show you the sort of variety of loot you can get, even though you've kind of seen the variety. <laughs> so, what I like to do is I like to bring Barrel's Teleports, which you get from the minigame, and then also some Donator Teleports. That way I can quickly get back to a big. You don't need these, you can just teleport home. That's just how I like to personally do it. And remember, just have your compass facing north, and then step one to the left or uh, west of air. And then attack the DH, and you're attacking all five of these at once. And then once some of them start to die, I like to sort of stand next to Carol, attack Carol, and then the ones that are standing next to it will, will get finished off. And with Blood Barrage, you, should, you shouldn't get combat out too hard. You'll be healing a fair bit. But definitely try to keep your health up high, especially if you are if you still have Darax. Darax is the main one you want to be concerned with, because I've, I've had him hit legitimate 90s on me. So you, you always got to watch out for him. And, again, you can get put in situations like this where it's just a matter of spamming food. But, holy goodness. I died. <laughs> like I said, it's combo, but it is a safe minigame, so if you die, no worries. Here we have another loop. Oh, nice. No Scarf is pretty cool. That's mostly just rare components, but I'll take it. And then, I, I forgot to mention, you, you, do, you do roll one normal barrels loot every single time. So that's cool. I guess if you were going mainly for Barrow's items and you didn't necessarily care about some extras, then it could be worth it to just do normal Barrow's, because normal Barrow's you could possibly get like three items in one in one thing. But the thing with this is you can also get full item sets, and that's helpful, especially for newer players or Iron Man. Here we have another loot. Nice, no noggles. Alright, let's do one more loot. Nice, no clue. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a new account and I'm going to open up a couple. Okay, so that is 100 loots. So we ended up getting the uh, the good drops twice. We got two. So I guess the I guess that means the odds are 1 in 50, right? <laughs> Let me uh, organize this so it looks better. Alright, here we go. So interestingly enough, the only Barrows piece we did not get was DHX. We got tons of duplicates. Duplicates of everything else except for, I believe, this helmet right here. But uh, no axe. So you, if you do fi 100, 100 loots, you're, you're going to get some good stuff. Like, if this was my legit account and I actually did all these, I'd be very happy right now, especially with these two crystals. So uh, that's the loot. That's the video. If there are any questions or any suggestions, by all means, the comment section below is a perfect way to do that. Or the Discord. The Discord link will be in the description. Come join our Discord. Post the suggestions there. We look at them all the time. If you want to get your voice, your opinion heard, that is the best place to do it. But... Uh, that'll do it for this. And again, it's it's mid-tier loot, and, and, and that's what this this content is is considered. It's mid-tier, and I think this is the perfect kind of stuff. I think you can make an account right now, and in about an hour, you'd be doing this mini game and and be getting quote unquote this loot. In terms of the total value, I'm not sure. Somebody who was better equipped. I mean, like these sets right here are 10k each, or 10 10 mil each. So right here, just these sets is 80 mil. So. And you can combine the rest of the sets as well. You're you're getting like 120 mil or so, and and that wasn't much. You know, I, technically I spawn them. I, I set up a command rats to to be able to do it. So uh, if you actually did the hundred, it would take a lot longer. But you can see it's pretty good. It's pretty decent gear, and it requires very little effort.
I'm just going to talk a little bit more just so it gets to 10 minutes. For no real reason other than it would look good if it's 10 minutes. I don't even monetize my videos anymore. There's no point. 10 minutes by...